this might surprise you, but I may have actually been more involved in church long before I became a full-time pastor, even before I started seminary. Just after college, I had found my way into a new church community in Chicago that was so radically different from anything I had come to expect from church or organized religion. This was a church community whose mission it was to be bold, inclusive, and relevant. Bold in its proclamation of the gospel of Jesus Christ, inclusive because that gospel or good news tore down every dividing wall between us and relevant, that our Monday through Saturday lives were just as important as what we do for an hour on Sundays. Being a part of this church was so refreshing that at one point it seemed like I had something going on every day of the week. I was involved in four different small groups, most of which met weekly. And in addition to attending my primary service at the Wicker Park location, I also got myself involved in helping plant the new Andersonville worshiping site. I realized that everything I was involved in depended on the generosity of the community. These small groups and worship services that attracted people from all walks of life and backgrounds didn't just happen on their own. They happened because people recognized the value of what we were about that we had good, life-changing news to share, and they gave generously of their time and financial support to make sure that it continued to happen. That's when I decided to start giving a regular weekly financial offering to a church for the first time in my life. I started with $5 a week because that's what my part-time, underemployed, recent college graduate with student loan debt could afford. And even that $5 a week made a difference. Maybe it bought a ream of paper to help print the worship bulletins, or maybe it bought a cup of coffee for one of our pastors to be able to meet one-on-one with a newcomer like my pastor had met with me. In this season of generosity, I'm excited about what God is up to at St. Philip as well. We too are a bold congregation in our proclamation of the gospel. We, too, strive to be inclusive and affirming of all who walk through our doors. We, too, believe that our Monday through Saturday lives are just as relevant and important as what we do here for an hour on Sunday mornings. Not a week goes by that I don't hear from at least one person from one of our many AA recovery groups about how grateful they are to be able to find a place of welcome and refuge in our building. I've been excited to see our ministry partners at Emmanuel Church return to their worship and to again host our own weekly Bible study and glow groups together in person as well as over Zoom. And just this past week, we even hosted our first blood drive in two years. It's encouraging to see such energy and vibrancy returning to our church campus. I am excited about what's happening in this place and what God is up to in our community. And I am excited to be a part of it. Over the course of the next month, during our fall generosity appeal, I hope you'll consider joining me. Together, we can tell the story of what God is doing in our community and in the world, and how God's story changes lives. We have good news to share. Will you join me in telling that story?